Hello, Blizzard fans! This is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another daily Blizzard upload. This is a game between Boom and Tang on Laralac Crest. That was a lot of fun to say. Alright, in the bottom right of Laralac Crest, we have the red Zerg player representing Potato Boom! I'm not sure why that last O is lowercase and the other ones are uppercase, and then M is uppercase again. Weird. Either way, super fun to say. Top right, we have the blue Zerg player representing All In. It is Tang, named after a tasty drink that has been drunk by astronauts in space. That'll blow your mind. All right, so ZVZ on Laralat Crest. ZVZ again in Legacy of the Void is a lot more fun in Heart of the Swarm, an improvement, thanks to Blizzard, because you don't see the same thing, like Ling versus Baneling or Roach, or Muta. There's really no difference in Heart of the Swarm between those three matches, but here, you can do crazy stuff. You can do drops into the base with Lings and Banelings. With Drop Lords, we've seen that on my channel. We can do things like uh, uh, Lurkers. Lurkers are a really good unit as well. Here comes some Ling on Lean action. Slow Ling versus Slow Ling. The most exciting thing in all of StarCraft 2. And yes, I'm being sarcastic. That is my sarcastic voice. Just look at this dance. Dancing back and forth, not really wanting to commit. How many links total? Six on six, I think. Here it is! More links coming out from both players, though. And yeah, just really kind of keeping pace with the slow link production. I don't know how each player knows exactly how many to make. I guess maybe there is a bit of a meta here. And Legacy of the Void already, I'm just unaware of. Gonna make a spine just to deal with this Ling aggression because make no mistake, this is Ling aggression. This is Baneling aggression. Look at this Baneling nest at 2 minutes and 36 seconds. Legacy of the Void is so fast, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, spine crawlers here. That's gonna help a lot. If we can focus down these bangs with the spine before they hit anything, it's gonna be really nice. Queen trying to block the ramp by herself. That's not gonna work super well. Here come the Banelings. Focus down the Banelings. One more hit. Yes, fantastic play. Ooh, big smash there. Does do some damage to the Queen. Is the Queen gonna die? Queen falls. Lings are inside the base. They do have speed. Oh, that is not good for Tang. Tang needs to get on the creep. There we go. The Queen needs to help. There's another Spine Crawler here. That's very nice as well. We're going to get a Surround on the Spine. Yes, a Surround on the Spine. Going to try to make another Spine here. You can try to save it. No! Many more Lings are on the way there for Boom. Boom is doing the strategy I like to use in Legacy of the Void. Right? Just make a whole ton of Lings in ZBZ and then try to make it work. A couple Bane Lings. Doesn't work for me as often as you would think. This drone actually survives with one hit point. Uh, how did that Baneling do? Ugh, lots of Lings have died. 22 Lings for uh, our blue player Tang. 20 for Boom as well. This Ling harassment is ongoing. It is huge for Boom. But again, look at this worker count. 13 to 15. You may think that Tang's in a lot of trouble, and he kind of is, but there's no expansion for the Red Zerg player. And actually going to hold this ramp. Yep, going to hold it with the Banelings, with the Spine Crawler. Good positioning. From that spine so tang he might lose this base but in the end no why are you focusing down the base no oh another big baneling hit takes out two of the zerglings for tang gonna try to get a surround on this queen as well i don't think it's necessarily gonna work depending on how this baneling does baneling is it gonna get a hit off yeah. oh yes it does taking out so many this queen might die but no the links for boom actually decide to run away look at this it's 15 to 15 harvesters tang has an expansion whereas our red zerg player does not so again you, again, you might feel like you're behind if you're Tang in this situation, but no, don't worry about it. A lot of resources got invested into all these Lings and these Bane Lings, and they pretty much was an all-in. You wanted to kill the player with this. Being on one base, here come more Lings. And again, Tang is able to kind of slowly drone back up, get some more of his own Lings out. Is he actually getting a Bane Ling nest to defend? No. He's going to defend purely with these Queens, with these Spine Crawlers, using Transfuse on things. And Spine taking a couple Lings out. This Bane Ling, that Bane Ling exploded on its own stuff by accident? I think it might have done that. More and more Bane Lings just really exploding on nothing though. Trying to take down that Spine Crawler didn't quite do it. Transfuse on that Spine Crawler, Transfuse on that Spine Crawler. Tang playing this probably as well as you possibly can. Making drones as well. He's now up to 16 versus 15. Again, one base for Boom. Still sending these Lings up. He really needs to hold out. Boom says you open the same this game as last. Oh, I guess this is probably a rematch against Boom. Oh, catching that queen out in the open does get sniped down. 
the Banelings are running back and forth. It's probably a rematch between these players. That does happen a lot in Legacy of the Void, where you kind of play the same players over and over, just because I think the pool is a little bit smaller um, than maybe it is in Heart of the Swarm, obviously. Another Baneling hit gets a couple Lings for Tang. Not a huge hit, though. Here we come. Big swell of Lings. Baneling hits taking down pretty much everything that Tang has, except for these four Lings, which is nice. Spine in a great position to keep these drones safe. Running back and forth, though, morphing more and more Banelings in. Oh, boom, finally does get a hatchery. Whoa, huge reach on that spine crawler. The queen trying to chase these lings away, but if she gets caught, yeah, another surround on a queen. How many queens have died for dang boosh? That one for sure. Banelings rolling on in, but again, there are spines. You can chase these workers all you want. Man, huge hits by those spine crawlers. This one has 14 kills. That's crazy. Baneling does hit on the drone, but little known fact, it takes more than one Baneling hit to kill a drone. So, these drones are still alive, albeit severely weakened. Oh, another Ling run by gets on in. Are we going to kill this queen too? No, the drones are pulled off the line to defend their queen. Doing a pretty good job of it. Drones do pretty well against Lings. Look at that. Look at that. So, lost units, five Banelings, 84 Zerglings for Boom. Tang has lost 68 Lings of his own and four queens as well as a spine crawler and five drones. So look at that, 24 to 14, though, with the queens that he has, with the two bases that he already has, he's able to get a huge swell of drones that's going to help his army production. He's in a really good spot here. Tang might be able to win this game, despite all the damage that we have seen. What was that? Why did my screen go black? I don't know what that was. Maybe Windows was telling me it was tired. All right, so again, the links come up along the backside. They're going to try to find a queen to snipe down. I don't think they're going to be able to do it. There are queens blocking this ramp as well. And more Baneling hits just exploding needlessly on spines. I mean, yes, we did kill the spine. Congratulations. But transfuse. Can we save the queen? It's going to be close. No. Queen does die. Another Baneling hit. Weakening more and more of these drones. This queen survives. Again, five total queens have died. But these are all mineral units that have died for Tang. These are not gas units like we've seen so much gas be used uh, from Boom. Overlord does scout in. Sees, okay, I don't have much to worry about. This is super oversaturated. Boom says, I heard that spores are weak. And yeah, I think that's true. Again, there was a nerf to the spores uh, where they do less damage against biological air units. Boom says, are you going muta? Tang, do not tell him. He lost that. Overlord, though, now he's supply block. That's embarrassing. Gets a Roach Warren. I think we're going to see a Roach push here from Tang. Just try to finish this off. He doesn't want to leave Boom any time to macro back up. He is up 44 to 27 Harvesters. You'd think that's a pretty commanding position, but that's it. Boom calls the GG. Tang is victorious, and that's it. So a pretty amazing defense here. This is a good tutorial on how to handle early Ling and Baneling pressure as a Zerg player. You want to get Queens on the ramp. You want to get Spines. You want to get a few lings of your own. It's okay to lose stuff. It's okay to lose banelings or lose links to those banelings. It's okay to lose queens. You can take a single hit to your workers. Two hits are bad. One hit is okay. Try to target fire the banelings with the spines and you can come out on top. So thank you so much again for sending this to me, Tang. I appreciate it. Con best of luck in your continued matches with All In. We are all rooting for you. Regardless, this has been Falcon Paladin with yet another daily Blizzard upload. You can find me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook, all slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.